Hello guys, welcome to another playlist. In this playlist, we will be seeing everything about the DBT. So what is DBT? In just layman terms, DBT is just a transformation in ETL. So DBT has multiple adapters. So it can integrate with any kind of database and then it can do uh, the transformations in the combination of SQL and Jinja. I mean Jinja is nothing but kind of Python only where it will avoid uh, repeated code kind of stuff. If we go and search Jinja, if you see here, if you see in Jinja, we can write for loops, if loops and all those things. So DBT is nothing but the combination of SQL and Jinja you, with which we can transform the data by connecting to any database. So DBT has the connectors or you can call it as adapters to almost all the data warehouses and also dbt has two versions one is dbt cloud and dbt core dbt core is open source and dbt cloud is a paid version where everything will be in the ui on a web application so like the dags the creation of models and everything will be in the ui for dbt core so this playlist is completely on dbt core so in layman terms like dbt is just a t or the transformation in the etl world so that's an high level and the layman terms explanation about dbt so now let's see how we can install dbt okay so let's go to the terminal so i've just created a folder here that's it and i have created a virtual environment uh, and then i have activated that virtual environment and then i want to do my dbt with the postgre adapter so i have just installed python iphone em pip install dbt core and dbt postgres you know right open source version is a dbt core so when we install that we will be getting the dbt installed in my system that's it so now the dbt is installed in our system and the next thing is to create a dbt project so to create a dbt project we have to just give dbt in it so now once we did the dbt in it it will ask the project name i have given the project name and then right now we have installed dbt postgre alone so it showed only one option which database if you want so if you install dbt athena it will show that as well if you install dbt snowflake it shows that as well right now i have installed only dbt postgre so it has given only one option that's it and then we have to select that option and then we have to give the host name port name username password the database name schema name and everything that's it and the projects gets created in one folder with the name which we have uh, dbt youtube postgres and now if you open it, it will be like this. That's it. The simple project has been created. Now we can run it. So in the next video, we will see everything on each and every functionality of the dbt. That's it. And now if you see the definitions very clearly, dbt helps transform raw data into useful insights quickly and efficiently. It organizes and centralizes your analytics code like software development tools, allows teams to work together on data models. So let's see why to use dbt. Simplifies transforming raw data into meaningful insights directly within your data platform. So it automates repeated tasks like schema management and boiler paid SQL, letting you focus on business logic. Like if you take any, any other database, you have to create the details and then run the stored procedures and all right. Here you can just concentrate on the business logic uh, and write the SQL along with Jinja combined in it and run it so that the target table gets created whenever you trigger that model. So it optimizes queries using features like incremental models, metadata analysis for long running process. So it minimizes errors by automatically testing data and alerting you to issues when data logic changes. So work seamlessly with your existing data tools to transform data into your cloud platform. Let's see what are the key features of dbt. Avoid repetitive coding using Jinja. Write just the logic for the data unit. dbt handles the rest. Use reusable data models for faster analysis. No copy pasting, just make one change and it updates everywhere with the ref uh, functionality. So we can create the consistent model that includes all the business rules. Use source control tools like branching in, and pull request for collaboration. And what are the dbt capabilities? So materialization, what is materialization? Turns your queries into tables or views in your database. So in the dbt model or an SQL file, you can just provide the materialization equal to table or view. So it directly creates as per the configuration materialization which you have given in the target either with the view or table instead of running all the details and all stuff 
so it uses jizya template so we can have all the kind of if conditions for loops and everything mostly almost all the python stuff so staged execution so to build a target table for suppose if you want to build a target sales table and for that to build we have to do lot of transformations and we can do multiple transformations step by step so first create one some temporary table from the temporary table on the temporary table from that second temporary table the final table so here we have three tables so that all can be integrated with the ref functionality which we'll see it so we can create documentation automatically as well about our models and then the testing and everything will be very easy to test our models and all and then the seed files for suppose if you have any constant tables which doesn't change or which doesn't get any updates so we can create a seed files and we can create the snapshot as well where we can handle the cdc 1 2 and everything so why is dbt powerful focus on writing data logics dbt manages the setup and execution we can just concentrate on the transformation everything is handled by dbt build reliable scalable and collaborative data workflows without unnecessary complexity so these are all the dbt adapters and we have much many adapters as well with which dbt connects and we write all the transformations and we run them on those specific adapters directly that's it so this is just an introduction or a theory part about dbt and in the coming videos will be completely the practical hands-on on each and every topic in dbt that's it thank you so much for watching